check the alleyway. You see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. W wait. Just... stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch. When I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Never, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's that? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You think people will still vote for you when you've got no teeth left? I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. It you really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Oh. 
Don't kill me. I've done nothing wrong. Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. With enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> You deserve whatever's coming for you. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. Uh... I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... what? Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. 
Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. And what with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. Uh, to Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. <laughs> Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I'm sorry for putting you in a difficult spot, Jim. I value our working relationship. So do I, Batman. That's why I need you to rein it in. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? The break-in isn't important. Protecting the debate is. You should be thrilled. You're getting a twofer. And double the trouble from the looks of it. Oh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back. I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Well, we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. 